Python is a high-level, general-purpose, interpreted programming language created in 1991 by Fido von Rossum. To get started, go ahead and open your favorite browser and visit python.org downloads. Next, click the yellow Download Python 3 button to download and install Python. Now to validate Python's been installed correctly, go ahead and open up a terminal or command prompt and type in python dash dash version. Python can be written in any text editor, but we're going to be using a free, lightweight, integrated development environment or ID IDE called Visual Studio Code or VS Code for short. We use an IDE over a plain text editor due to features like debugging and syntax highlighting. Go to code.visualstudio.com slash download and download and install VS Code. After it's launched, go ahead and open the extension tab. Type in Python in the search bar and select the official Microsoft Python extension and install it. Go ahead and close the extension window and create a new file. We're going to name that file hello underscore lambda.py. We're going to start with a variable. Variables are named locations in memory used to store data. Our first one is going to be your name. Now type my underscore name equals double quotes your name. This line creates a variable named my underscore name and assigns it to the string value of your name. In my case it's lambda. Now we're going to communicate with our user by telling them our name. Enter a new line and type print parentheses. By default, print sends output to the terminal. Functions are reusable blocks of code. They take in parameters separated by commas inside of parentheses following the function name. For our first output to the user, we are going to be giving print three arguments. Arguments are the actual values passed to the function when it's called. Now inside the parentheses, type the string hello comma my name is colon followed by the variable my underscore name and finally the string welcome to my program. Next, we're going to be taking some input in from the user, namely their name. We're going to be using the built in input function. Enter a new line and type username name equals input parentheses. Input takes in a string argument that lets the user know what type of input we're looking for. In our case, enter your name colon. Now we're going to let our user know that we received their input. To do that, go ahead and enter a new line and start a new print statement. We're going to be passing the arguments hello comma followed by username and then the string thanks for using my program. Go ahead and save the file and open the integrated terminal. You can do that with the control plus back tick keys. You should already be in the directory of your script, but if you aren't, go ahead and cd into the directory you saved the script. We're going to run the script with the command python dot forward slash hello underscore lambda dot pi. And there you have it. You have successfully installed Python and ran your first Python script. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving us a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.